Hi guys, this is Skeffron, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to do an update of my guide of New World. Uh, my previous guide was 10 months ago. So I just want to talk a bit about the game right now, the current state. So for me, with the same computer, I'm getting like 15 to 20% boost in my FPS. And my FPS are more stable. But on my new PC, really important to look at your temperature because uh, it's getting a little bit crazy. Uh, with my, my GPU now, it is hitting 74 degrees. Normally, when I play a game, it's like 65, 64. And my CPU, when I stream, I'm hitting like 75, 78. Uh, and normally, I'm like at 65. So really important. I read a, a little bit on, on the web about it. And people with 1080, 1080 Ti, 1090 have a lot of issue. Even some people burn their card. So really important to monitor your temperature because if you're getting crazy high temperature, uh, probably you will have some throttling, you will lose FPS, and also you can have like stuttering. So really important to look at that. First of all, let's go with the game mode. Open game mode. Make sure that game mode is at on now on Windows if you have the latest version. Uh, game mode is really good. It's taking your best score on your uh, CPU to make sure that it will be dedicated to the game. It will close some random tasks that Windows is running. So all your resources will be focused on your game. Xbox Game Bar also I recommend to put this one at off uh, and any overlay that you can't use like Discord overlay, AMD, Nvidia, whatever. Uh, just remove everything. Uh, it seems to causing stuttering on this game. For the capture, I make sure that background recording is at off and recorded audio is at off. Another thing that I recommend, I took a print screen because now I have a Radeon card. I don't have an, an NVIDIA card anymore on this PC. Um, it's the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Make sure that you write graphics setting in your search bar and make sure that you put this one at on. You will need uh, an NVIDIA card, 1000 series or above, something more recent, to have this option. And you will need to restart your computer to make sure it's applied. Uh, normally, you can get 2 to 4% boost in your FPS with this option. I also want to add something on New World. So right click on your Steam installation, go to Manage, Browse Local File, uh, go to Bin64. You have the New World.exe here. Uh, so right click on it, go to Properties. Go to compatibility and make sure that disable full screen optimization is checked. It will work on this game because it's a direct X11 game. And also normally it can help you a little bit with the input lag and stuff like that. But in this game, it helped me a lot with my temperature. So I kind of like find the, the problem with it. So just use that, press OK and you should be fine. Another thing that I recommend is your power plan, right energy, go to power option. Make sure that you use balance or high performance. Really important. Don't use power saver, eco mode and stuff like that. You will lose the FPS because those profile will not uh, push at the maximum of your CPU, GPU, uh, gigahertz and boost clock, etc. Uh, normally on the desktop, laptop, uh, desktop PC, you will not have this issue. It's more for uh, if you're playing on the laptop. Just to give you a quick example on my Dell. I don't know why when I plug it on the wall, it doesn't take, it doesn't know that I'm plugged in. So it's still using the same profile as my battery does. So that's pretty bad. You want, really want to make sure that you're using something like Windows Balance when you plug your laptop on the wall. So make sure that it's working. Uh, one more thing, it's the uh, GPU driver. Make sure that you update it. So you're writing in NVIDIA or even Intel on their web website, they have like dedicated uh, uh, driver for your uh, iGPU. Um, so yeah, that's about it. Make sure also your configuration is good, boost clock, stuff like that. Make sure on NVIDIA you're using the high performance profile that I show in previous video. And pretty much that's about it for your Windows config configuration. So now let's go inside of the game. So now inside of the game, so first of all, uh, if you compare this game versus the one uh, 10 months uh, before, honestly, the game is a lot more optimized with the same video card on my other PC. I was getting like 20 to 25 percent more FPS. Also, my FPS is a, a lot more stable. Um, so you don't need to go to in the config file. You just need to go to your setting. First of all, go to preference. If you have a really good internet, go with bench with mode at I. So you want the game to be snappy when you talk to the server. If you have like a normal like internet, I don't know, something like uh, 50 Mbit with 10 uh, Mbit of upload, 
maybe go with something like medium. If you're alone on your internet, you should be fine. And if you have like a very like bad internet, go with something like low and it should help you. Also, I recommend to disable the enable analytic reporting. Really depend what you wanna do here. You want to help them go for it honestly but it can take a little bit of your uh your, your resources more internet resources and uh if you don't like to have like the survey message at the end just put off over here now let's go let's go with the visual so window mode i recommend to play full screen in this game i'm getting a lot of stuttering with window mode so full screen really important uh for the resolution play your native so really depend on your monitor if you have like a 2k monitor 1080p or something like that uh i did a test like 1080p on my 2k monitor it looks very blurry in this game so really important to play your native resolution brightness con and contrast really depend like if you want to change that if you feel like the game is too dark you can go a little bit higher with your brightness feel of view it really depends on your preference for me i always play my game at 90 horizontal vert, uh, field of view so uh, if you guys doesn't know like vertical field of view if you want 90 it's 59 the conversion uh, and if you go crazy with it you can't lose fps because you will see more stuff in front of you so don't go too crazy with that if you have like a low-end computer after that video quality uh you can put custom because if you put like something i very high everything will change so it's more like a preset Effect detail, this one is like with uh, shadows, this is the one that will give you the most of FPS. I compare very high to low, you can get 3% boost for each bracket. So if you're playing on a laptop, integrate GPU, low end computer, definitely go with low. Volume retreat effect take a lot of resources and also particle. So it will help you with your FPS, but it will also help you with uh, to stabilize your FPS. So I really recommend something like low. If you're a mid-range computer, go with medium. And if you have like a real, really good computer, like a 1080, something like that, you can definitely go at high or very high. Lightning detail. This one is a little bit uh, trickier. Uh, I did a comparison between medium and low, and you have like 1% difference here. And you can gain like 2% for each bracket, very high, high and medium. So I recommend to go with medium because low doesn't give you much more FPS. So you can go with medium. This is the sweet spot. Object detail. This one also can give you a nice amount of FPS, 2% for each bracket. So again, low end computer on my laptop, I'm playing at low. Uh, if you have a mid-range computer, you can definitely go with medium without too, having too much impact on your FPS. And uh, yeah, after that, you can go high over high if you have a really good computer. Really depend what you need to do here. Like, do you have a high refresh screen uh, uh, monitor? If you just need your 60, probably you can't like put more stuff at medium or even high. Shadow detail. This one gives you a lot of FPS. Also, 3% for each bracket. I recommend to put this one at low. So if you're struggling with your FPS, start with effect detail and shadow detail. Put those one at low. Look at your image. And uh, if you're uh, satisfied by your FPS, you can definitely go with this. After the Terran detail, uh, I don't, didn't see a difference between low and medium in my FPS. So definitely go with medium. After that, high and very high, it's pretty much like 2%, 2% boost. So uh, it really depends what you want to do. Texture detail, this one uh, really depends on your uh, amount of VRAM and a little bit. Yeah, exactly. So uh, if you have like, it's tough to say. I, very high honestly go with 6 gig i think you should be fine with 4 gig of vram but definitely uh very high just do some tests but i think 6 gig and more you will be fine i go with 4 gig medium 3 gig and if you're you have less than 3 gig of vram like something like 2 or even 1 go with low with your sorry with your texture detail Water detail, not a huge impact between low and medium, so I recommend medium. At high and very high, uh, when I was like seeing water and stuff like that, my laptop was struggling. So if you're struggling when you see water, definitely go with medium or even low, depending on your computer, it should help. After that, show FPS. If you don't have a software like MSI Afterburner like me, you can see your FPS at top right of your screen with your ping. So really nice feature. If you want to see that, just go with on. For VSync, I'm not using it because I have a free sync monitor. So if you have a free sync or G sync monitor, don't use that. Uh, if you don't have that and you hate input like, don't activate VSync. But if you don't like screen tearing, definitely put your VSync at on. You will remove your screen tearing, but you will have a, a little bit more input like. But honestly, in the MMO, 
it's not that bad. After that, max FPS, I'm using on cap. This is a bomber here. They just put 30, 60 and on cap. Normally, you should have like 100, 120, 144, 170, 240. Uh, it's always better to lock FPS with your uh, game. Uh, you will uh, reduce your input lag. So now I have to lock it with my Radian software if I want to make sure that I'm staying in the free sync range. My free sync range is 170, so I don't, I, I can't go higher than that with my FPS because I will lose free sync. The last one is the player uh, nameplate mount. Uh, so normally by default, I'm playing at like 15, something like that. But this one honestly can really impact your computer. If you go crazy with this one, uh, you will lose a lot of FPS and uh, your FPS will go like crazy, like a lot of random drop. So on my laptop, I'm playing at five and it helps a lot if I compare 5 to 15. So definitely do some tests with this because it can help you a lot to stabilize your FPS. So that's about it, guys, for my guide. If you have any questions, just comment in the YouTube section. Post me anything like your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.